But first, a class action lawsuit is filed in Yellowstone County Federal Court as dozens of Montana parents express concern and frustration with a Montana travel company over the cancellation of students' school trips. In court documents, plaintiffs in Billings and Kalispell accuse Global Travel Alliance, which operates in Montana and several other states, of misuse and breach of its own contract cancellation policies as a means to profit from the COVID-19 pandemic. Global Travel Alliance works with school districts to lead education travel to Washington, D.C., Costa Rica, and Europe. Plaintiffs also say kids worked hard all year to raise money for that trip, some of which they will not get back. Well, one of those canceled trips, an educational trip to Europe this year. Now, the complaints come after a school trip was called off due to travel restrictions over COVID-19. Only a partial refund was offered from the company, Global Travel Alliance, which is headquartered right here in Billings. MTN Chief Investigative Reporter Andrea Lutz looked deeper into the issue. The Montana Office of Consumer Protection tells me there are 60 complaints against Global Travel Alliance, and there is an active investigation. This after Montana parents have said it is not their fault that their student school trips have been canceled because of coronavirus. So why should they have to pay for it? You know, we're living in really unusual times, and I feel like unusual circumstances call for unusual accommodations. Mom Julie Robel says she's already paid over $4,000 for a two week school trip to Europe in June that her son obviously can't attend. But for now, Global Travel Alliance is sticking to the standard cancellation policy. Which is to withhold 30% of the overall trip cost for anybody who cancels this close to the date, the departure date. But we didn't actually cancel. So that's where things get really interesting. She and other parents were first given this email on April 21st from Global Travel Alliance, asking participants to choose a cancellation option. Option one says the traveler could be eligible for a voucher good for 75% of the cost of the trip for the following year. Or option two cancels the trip completely and they'd get a 70% refund. We received a reminder email of the standard cancellation policy and the COVID-19 stuff had actually already started. So the timing was interesting. Julie feels sticking to the policy is unfair considering the unforeseen impact of the virus. So I have a hard time understanding how they can rationalize keeping 30% of every child's trip cost, which is $1,257. I don't understand where that $1,257 is going. And when you multiply that times 18 kids, it means Global Travel Alliance is pocketing over $22,000. But those with Global Travel tell MTN Investigates the travel industry is among the hardest hit. Passing along this statement that reads in part, planning a group trip requires making financial commitments to our vendors months in advance. Our standard cancellation policy takes into account those commitments. Company officials say they've got 50 employees and none have been laid off or furloughed because they're working with vendors to get refunds back. But Julie says Global Travel hasn't made that clear to parents at all. Now they maintain that they have some costs that contribute to needing $22,000, but I, I haven't seen a list. I don't understand exactly what those costs are. I have a hard time with a business owner feeling okay with taking $1,257 from 18 eighth graders in order to float the business. She says for now, parents impacted at her school are teaming up to take their complaint higher. Um, I think collectively we may be represented by a single person from the Bozeman School District who is now in contact with that Office of Consumer Protection. I did have a lengthy conversation this week with the president of Global Travel Alliance, who tells me they have since sent back millions of dollars in costs. And he also says they're now working with their own nonprofit to find relief funds. For MTN Investigates, I'm Andrea Lutz. All right. Thank you, Andrea.